This next exercise, the shiftless scale, is going to introduce the distance of a minor third between one and four. Most traditional bass pedagogy has us going one to four on the whole step, but in order to play more advanced repertoire and to broaden our ability to play the bass, we need to be able to play a minor third between one and four. Uh, when we compare the size of the cello string length, right about here at the D is the, is the length of the cello string, and they use this finger pattern of one, three, four for a whole step, one, two, four for a half step, whole step. And I think we can also incorporate that into double bass technique. So to begin with, this, the fingering on the E major shiftless scale is two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Make sure that's third finger. Make sure the hand is shaped this way. Now on the top string, without playing the notes, just lightly rotate your hand back and forth. It shouldn't be something where your hand is stretched out like this and and you barely are able to press the string down. I want you to have this freedom of motion we talked about in the uh, uh, left hand finger action, the Max's Magic exercise, except now we're extending, we're rock and rolling to a minor third between one and four. Some people call it pivot motion. We don't want to get stuck with our hand in cement. We want to be flexible. It's the fastest and most accurate way to play. Let's try this. E major, separate bows on each note. Ready, go. Two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Okay, let's do it again. This time, slur two notes together. And if you can vibrate a little bit along the way, that's all the better. Ready, go. Two. Also practice eight slurred in a bow. Let's try that. Pretty fast. Ready and go. Uh. Now I'd like to introduce the hooked bow stroke on this uh, scale. Once you have the finger pattern down, it's a great scale to work all sorts of different bow strokes, from the elbow stroke to the, uh, the Beethoven seventh bow stroke, etc. But let's start with this hooked bow stroke, which is dotted eighth note down bow, stop the bow, and then kick again in the down bow. So two down, two up. It goes like this: D stop, ba ba stop, ba ba stop, ba ba stop, ba ba stop. Let's try it on a high E. Ready, go. Two, three, and two, stop, kick, one, two, stop, kick, long, stop, kick, long, stop, kick. Gonna try it on the low E. Ready, go. Long, stop, kick, long, stop, kick, long, stop, kick, long, stop, kick. Good. So the bow needs to totally stop and then restart again. Here we go. With the scale. Down bow on the E, up bow on the F sharp. Ready, go. And stop, kick, stop, kick, and, and. Think about your left hand. Vibrato on each 
note. Listen to your right hand. Good solid kick on the little note. Right here. And a little faster. Go. And two. And and stop kick. Stop kick. 